What's up everybody? In this episode we're going to talk about building the basis of the enemy AI. And the first step is creating the proper hierarchy of the enemy game object. Just as seen in here. Let's go! Just like in the novels, every protagonist has an antagonist. Same thing happens with platformers where the player has to face enemies. And in platformer games, usually enemies, they walk or fly between multiple points. It can be two points, three points, and more. This is exactly what we're going to do in this episode. So we're going to take a friend, the possum here, which already has an animation. You can find it in the assets in here. Create an animator and then make him move with the proper speed that you want. And we're going to make him move around between here and here. So let's be, let's explain the points before we actually start doing everything. So I'm going to start, I'm going to open my famous painter to show you my great explanation. So first of all, let's say this is the enemy, right? This is the possum enemy. And we've got the floor in here. Never mind, it's slanted. We're going to have to create a mechanics where this game object of the enemy will have a script that's going to detect two transforms. We're going to put these transforms however we want, but for the simplicity of this episode, we're going to make one and two in here. And what's going to happen is, when, the, when it starts, the game starts, it's going to chase, for example, this is the first one and this is the second one. Okay? So it's going to start moving towards this point, and as soon as it reaches, like, almost inside the point it's gonna flip and go backwards and etc so it's gonna keep going this way so if you put two points it's gonna go this way but if you put let's say if you have let's say you have a level that's like this so you can have one point two point you know three point and four points so you can we can have the enemy in here and then he's gonna start working in here and go back here down further and then backwards so this we're gonna build this mechanics of that resembles the ping pong pattern and that's the end results the but first what we're gonna do we're gonna have the game object the enemy and the script that we're gonna create it's gonna add to it a box collider right appropriate of course not like this it's gonna be like this and uh, the second thing what's gonna do it's gonna create Let's say we have the game object in here as a, as a hierarchy, right? Whatever it is. So what's going to happen is it's going to create a root object, which is going to be called the same name, root. And it's going to have another child called waypoints, right? So this waypoints will have, I'm, I'm going to create two points at the start, but you can expand this as much as you want. So just point one, point two. And this will actually resemble back to the object itself. And what, what's going to happen is the script is going to understand that this is point one and this is point two, which is going to be actually in indexed as one. And it's going to move between them. And as soon as he reaches a small, the distance becomes smaller, he's going to flip to this one. And when he reaches this one, it's going to be the end, it's going to flip back to this one. We're going to speak in details how it's going to work, but this is all for just simple explanation. First of all, let's create a script inside the script folder in here, and let's call it enemy AI, right? Because it's 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 somehow a, a simple AI mechanism. So uh, let's click it, double click this one. We're good. So first of all, let me uh, delete this stuff. Actually, let me keep this one. Let's create public transform. Let's make it list transform points. Right. So this will be a reference to waypoints. By default, is I'm going to make it two points, but you can increase it as much as you want. The second thing is we're going to make I'm going to make it public right now. Integer. Um, let's going to call it next ID. Next, uh, okay. Next ID. Okay, I think this will make more, more sense. 
Let me explain what is this. I'm going to go with public. Actually, let's make it in private. Integer um, ID change value. Let's explain what these are. So this one is the integer value for the next index. Oh, wait, I think the, the integer value for the next point index. So what that means is if this is zero, the player will go towards the zero the point, like, like the actual point that index zero. So it's the first point. And then it will become second point. And then third point. Whereas this part is the value of the that the average that applies to ID for changing. So to be more simple, I can explain in here. Let's say we have point one. So we have these three points, right? Let's say we are right now in here. All right? And our next point is this. As soon as we come in here, we have to actually find a value that changes from 0 to 1, which is plus 1, right? It's correct. As soon as we reach here, we look, OK, this is not the end of the, the point. So let's apply plus 1 as well. This is the ID value change. And it goes in here. And this, this player moves forward, of course. But as soon as we reach this place, we know, OK, you know what? This is the end of the line. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this to minus 1. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to actually apply the ping pong mechanism. So it's going to, instead of increasing, it's going to decrease 1. And it's going to look, OK, you know what? Are we at the end, uh, at the start? No. So decrease one more. Of course, this guy will come back here. Come back here. As soon as we reach this point, it's going to say, oh, wow, we're at the start. Let's, re let's revert back to plus 1. And that's, that's how it's going to go all the way. And this point in here, this is the ID change. Let's start with this one here. And uh, I assume for this is enough. Before we head and do anything, I'm going to show you something in the inspector, which will be the end point of everything. So for us to actually apply the whole mechanism on this object, right? we're going to need him to walk around. To walk around, we need, we need to apply something called waypoints. And I'm going to have to make this waypoints and create something inside. Call it point one, point two. Okay? Right now, I'm making this manually. Uh, let me just make this position is the same as the possum. Copy and paste. Okay, so we got this. This is going to be point 0.1 and this is going to be point 0.2. See, right now I made this manually. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create a game object that has the same position as the possum. Uh, simply can create an object inside of it and then take it outside. And let's call it enemy possum root. So what we need to do, we need to actually put this guy the actual object of the possum inside and the waypoints inside. So we have everything packaged up in one object. Where this is going to be the thing that's moving around and this is going to be the points. So we're, I'm going to I'm going to try to achieve this whole creation part with the script. There's an easy way of doing this by using custom editor, but that one is a bit advanced, so we'll tackle that one later when when I create some editor tutorials. So let me bring this outside, delete this, and head back in here. One way of doing these things in the editor is something that we've done before by using the item script is we used it to set the trigger to true. So this helps with uh, setting the default values in the uh, inspector by calling reset. And it says here, resets to va default value. So we can do this as soon as the script has been added, this thing will call once. So first of all, we have to add something called the required components type of box collider 2D. So this means that as soon as we add the script to a game object, it will add the box collider. 
And the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure the box collider is triggered. Make box collider trigger. No game gate component box collider is trigger. No. Is trigger right trigger. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. And the next step is we're gonna have to create this that whole hierarchy. First of all, we have to create the root object, which is gonna be I'm gonna keep called root new game object and call it so first of all I needed to have the same name of the player or actually the enemy plus root okay so just make it keep name which is going to be the name of the game object plus underscore root all right so we've got this ready create root object I'm gonna actually write everything down in comments and then do everything uh, set reset position of root to this game object set set okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this to enemy object which is this object set enemy object as child of root and the next thing is create create waypoints object reset waypoints position to enemy to root actually to enemy to root because it's gonna be part of the root and then uh, make waypoint object child of root create create two points game objects and reset their position to waypoints object and last part is make the points children ch children of waypoint object so this is a lot of stuff but this happens only once so first of all let me actually put all of them like uh, in it let's call it no in it I'm gonna put all of these stuff inside so we have a separate object so for, we've done this thing next next thing we have to do is we have to reset its position of the root that transfer the position equals transfer the position so this resets to, to this position and uh, set the enemy object child so what we need to do we need to set this game object as a child of the root so we're gonna go with transform that set parent this is the thing that we do it and uh, we have to create call the transform which is this game object so right now we created the root and the root is now the parent of the enemy now let's create the waypoints object so let's go game object waypoints and we have the new waypoints Good. and then school waypoints uh, I th let me actually just double check because I think setting this transform parent will reset the position but let's double check waypoints the transform the set parent and let's make it root the transform so now the tra waypoints are now the children the second child of the root now let's create two game objects Game object p1 equals new point one, and then we have to do is we have to set it game object. So we can go p1 that transform that set parent waypoint that transform. So we have we've set this we've set the first point as a child. Okay, and the second point also as a second child. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we have to assign these trans this game objects to the list here. So before you init points list, then add them to the, the add the points to it. It's simple points. So we go points equals new. That's it, and then we go points add. 
P1 the transform because it takes transform and then P2 the transform so simply what we've done here we created the root folder we made it the parent uh, for the same position and we created a waypoints object and made it also a child of the root and we added two points made them a child of the waypoints object and then we add them to the list so with this we can check what happens in here so we have this possum so if everything is doing good when we create this we're gonna have this whole thing yep so we we missed one thing here which is the setting this part as the child of the game object so it's gonna be this one here yep this one is not correct so what we need to do is we need to actually we're setting the parent of this object to itself so that's incorrect so we have to set it to the root so wh when I actually delete this it should we, I'm gonna delete this part and this one this one and create it so with this way we can see that our game object instantly was created and added inside this root with the waypoints in here and they're already assigned waypoints 1, waypoints 2 and uh, one thing I, we have to do also is set their position to 0 p one the transfer the position equals victor2 0 p2.0 ok so apparently the, uh, setting the transform does not work so we have to force reset the position We'll do the same thing in this one. We'll, we'll do waypoints that transform that position equals victor three dot zero, right? That's it. So what what's gonna happen in here is I'm gonna manually zero this out. So we have ourselves this enemy possum. So whenever you have an object. Let's actually do it all over again so we can see the whole thing happening. So let's say we have this game object, right? Actually, this one, I have to delete it. We have this possum that runs, and we want it to have the enemy AI whole hierarchy. So if we add this thing here, it adds the box collider, makes it trigger, and then we get this hierarchy. So the game object is still in here with this whole root thing, and we got ourselves the points so the points are basically uh, oh wait I forgot to do this no I just did oh never mind so what we need to do is we need to actually instead of victor 0 uh, we have to do this root that transform that position because uh, victor 0 it makes it the global position to zero which is incorrect because the global position of zero is actually zero zero in the middle of the script but for us we need this we need the local position of this one to be zero so it's gonna be according to the root itself so with all this trial and error we have ourselves a awesome with enemy AI script and uh, with this we have created this whole mechanism of creating the hierarchy of the object and in the next episode we're gonna learn how to actually make it move with proper uh, mechanism of going from point to point with a ping pong you know, pattern. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did hit the like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell button to get all the updates of my videos. If you got more questions, hit the comments in the section below. Also, tell me your opinion about the whole thing if you got any more suggestions or feedback. Also, join our Discord channel for more interactions with uh, our other users and, of course, myself. Other than this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.